Alabama's top doctor says the state's 24% positivity rate is now the worst in the nation. It is also a state record during the pandemic. Yeah, health leaders believe it's only going to get worse from here. We'll surpass our all time high from back in January in the next uh, three or four days. Um, that, that's put a, a severe stress on our hospital situation. This is a snapshot of what was happening three or four weeks ago. Okay, the numbers you're seeing today in deaths are telling us what was happening in Alabama around the 4th of July. Dr. Harris says there are only 5% of ICU beds available and southern parts of the state don't have any ICU beds at all. So they were just below 623,000 total cases. This is an increase of almost 12,000 just since last Friday. Dr. Harris says this could be preventable if more people get the vaccine. A COVID-19 hospitalizations exploding today as well. Tonight, more than 2,400 COVID positive patients are being treated in hospitals across the state. That is an increase of about 600 cases over just the past week. Hospital systems becoming overwhelmed and emergency rooms are feeling the burden of dealing with COVID patients as well as other medical needs. We're now in situations where we're seeing patients who show up in the ER needing to be admitted, spending in some cases days in the ER getting ICU level care in the ER because there's no place for them to go upstairs. As healthcare workers deal with the impact of rising cases, we are seeing a return of limited visitation at local hospitals. That includes DCH. Only one support system will be allowed. Support person will be allowed per person in most areas in the facility in Tuscaloosa. No visitors allowed for any COVID-19 positive patients. There are a few exceptions, including end of life care. Masks, by the way, those are required for all visitors. It comes as a hospital is seeing a surge in patients like other hospitals across the state. DCH treating 125 inpatients across three facilities. Now, the situation at UAB Hospital is getting more and more dire by the day. As WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough reports, doctors are frightened by what they're seeing right now. Operations at UAB Hospital are already strained by the fourth COVID surge we are in right now. We're seeing an absolute tidal wave once again of patients coming to see us who are infected with COVID, who have terrible symptoms of COVID and who are requiring treatment and hospital admission for COVID. And it appears we are only at the beginning of this latest surge. A new projection from UAB shows we could reach 7,800 hospitalizations statewide by the 1st of September. There are only a finite number of healthcare resources available in this state. And not only is the increase in COVID-19 hospitalizations going to make it harder to care for COVID patients, it's also going to make it harder to care for people with other health matters. We've had to delay surgery for cancer, surgeries for transplants, surgeries for all different types of problems, for heart problems, you name it. Starting next Monday, UAB will only be able to perform half of the surgeries it normally does. The hospital is also having to decline transfer requests from other medical facilities. And already long wait times in the emergency room are now much longer. We wouldn't be sitting here telling you that we need you to wear a mask and we need you to take your vaccine if we didn't have the research and the data to show that it really does help and make a difference. Doctors say the bottom line is this latest tidal wave of COVID patients is potentially jeopardizing the health care of every person in our area. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. And home with the mask debate for students moving to the courtroom. This after filing a motion asking that Jefferson County step in and make the school districts change course and remove the mask mandate at school. Today, the city's Board of Education entered a motion to strike their affidavit. Facial coverings are required inside all school buildings in the district. And more students returning to class today. This includes those in Bessemer. We went to West Hills Elementary School this morning. The district is requiring masks for everyone the first four weeks, including students, staff and visitors, regardless of vaccination status. After Labor Day, they'll be strongly recommended, not required. Parents and local activists are speaking out today in support of COVID-19 safety in the classroom. We spoke to a Birmingham City School parent who says that she has concerns after claims at least Three students in her daughter's class tested positive for the virus. She says she has also heard concerns from other parents. I'm, yes, I'm upset and I'm kind of worried because I don't want nobody's child getting COVID. I don't want them to get the Delta virus. I want everybody to be safe, but you can't be safe with 40 children in high school in a class and with 26 in an elementary class. How could you be safe? Birmingham City Schools does have a COVID-19 update on its website, currently showing 31 positive tests in the last week among students. 
Three were among staff, or there were three among staff. The district says it plans to update those numbers each week. Well, a boost for Alabama schools, U.S. Department of Education approving the state's plan for use of American Rescue Plan funds that's going to support students across the state. Officials say the cash will be used for safely reopening classrooms, as well as addressing disparities in educational opportunities exposed by the pandemic. The move will release additional money on top of what was previously sent. Well, the city of Birmingham working to get trash off the streets. This as many of its public works employees have been impacted by COVID-19. The city is now hiring garbage collectors with a starting pay at 1502. A little bit later on this month, uh, Birmingham will host agility skills tests for those who applied to be uh, collectors of some trash in the area. The physical test will take place at the Birmingham Crossplex. You can apply online for this. Temporary workers will also be hired to assist with trash collection. And a reminder, in Jefferson County, the commission approved funds for an emergency rental assistance program. The money can be used for rent and utility bills. You can apply at any of the organizations that you're checking out here on your screen. These organizations are accepting applications now. The Salvation Army of Greater Birmingham is also helping those who may be pushed into pandemic poverty. Information for all of these programs can be found on our WVTM 13 app. You can check out the coronavirus tab on the main menu.